this is the second in my geodome geometry tutorials. Uh, we built this icosahedron earlier. I'll do a link to that. And uh, today we're going to have a look at building the dodecahedron, uh, which are actually um, related structures. I have seen uh, a couple of tutorials on YouTube um, by the SketchUp team, I think by the SketchUp YouTube channel, uh, doing dodecahedrons and icosahedrons without math. But to be honest, I didn't like them. Uh, I like to use Snap a bit more, um, and it's a, a, a dull, it, I think you can make errors with the system they use. And it also doesn't show how these two structures are related. Uh, I'll link to them in the description, um, so you can have a look at them anyway, because uh, you might like them better than mine. Uh, but I thought I'd do my way of doing it uh, first. Um, the icosahedron, I'll link to that as well. We uh, just did that one a couple of days ago. Um, and we're going to build a dodecahedron from the icosahedron. Right, let's get cracking. Uh, we have components. That The whole thing is made up of components. We will just do our little test. Uh, edit Explode. And as you can see, all the lines joining are thin, so that means, uh, and we can we can pull this about. Should be able to pull this about. Yeah, you can pull it about, and all it, everything's glued together. Okay, uh, now what we need to do is we take one of our faces, and because these are components. Anything we do to this face, it'll be done automatically to all the other faces. This is a super handy thing in SketchUp. Uh, I like it a lot. Right, what we're doing is finding the middle. Uh, the other thing I've done on this model that I haven't told you about is I've rescaled it. What we have is I've removed all the gubbins from inside and we've got... Um, the center point marked and some a few lines going into the center point and this line here is 200,000 millimeters it's exactly 200,000 millimeters there millimeters let me show you tap in there to there and we've got exactly 200,000 millimeters i do everything big because it helps to minimize errors later on uh, we need to know that measurement and then all we do from here is we double click on here, we draw a line from the center to this point, and we know that it needs to be 200,000. That's why I've made it an exact round number. There you go, job done. Right, edit, unhide, all, and we have basically a spiky icosahedron okay we're nearly this is nearly finished now it doesn't look like it but it is right we join the points double click it and make that into a component so let's go edit make component and we'll call that dodeca base create uh, we will also double click it click this and reverse faces because it's annoying me that is. That's better. I don't know why uh, I do that. Right, there you go. With this, we have the face of our dodecahedron. So now we can do the magic rotate uh, function, the same as we did with icosahedron. So what we do is we click on a corner and then we slide it down this little stub there and that gives us the correct angle to rotate to click on here copy it and bring that round to here that gives us uh, that one we're going to do exactly the same again uh, now there, there, is, there will be a quicker way to do this but um, I'm just going to show you the steady way we're going to rotate this one this time Just got to make this appear. There we go. 
rotate this point down here and it's this the left angle copied to go around to the right. I could have copied two both of them to get that done but never mind. And we'll do the same at the bottom. And that, that works exactly the same. So you need these uh, one, two, three, four Pentagon panels. Select those. No, sorry, do that wrong. Select the two because we've got our top and bottom. Set these two here. And then rotate. We're going to do a copy rotate here from the, set, from the peak of the icosahedron. See that there? Uh, notice how it's uh, 72 degrees, the same as the icosahedron, and we times that by four. Right, we've finished our dodecahedron now, but it's inside, it's just sort of um, being intersected by the icosahedron, so we really need to. So what we have is our dodecahedron. I'm just going to clean this other one up. Okay, there we go. We have both our icosahedron and our dodecahedron. And both of these are made up of components. We'll also do our test, which is to copy and Explode and let's just, yeah, all thin lines. Uh, take the move tool, all the lines are glued together, and that's that's us done. Uh, the next uh, tutorials will look at more and more complex uh, structures made from these two basic uh, polyhedrons. And we'll also show you the, how they are related. Like and subscribe if you want to see uh, more geometry tutorials. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.